So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make vacuum in your fresh oil tanks in order to uh, fill them with fresh oil. So to do that, you come over here and you turn your compressor on. Wait till it turns green. Turn your compressor on. Turn your vacuum generator on. Then turn your tank to straight vacuum. And then you'll crack your... Now all you're gonna do is wait for that needle to get down in the green. All right, so once, once that tank is down in the green, you have vacuum in that tank, uh, you, are, you will not have to make another vacuum in that tank. It's gonna keep that vacuum in there until we completely fill that tank up. So you would create vacuum on all your fresh oil tanks and figure out which kind of fluid you're going to put in it, and then you come over here to your bulk fill. These are all labeled with the same color that's on the panel and the tank. So they're all color-coded uh, as far as here, the tank, and the panels. So then you'd go and you'd figure out which panel and tank you'd like to have what fluid, and then you would attach your barrel straw here, and then you'd be able to vacuum fill these tanks. Once you have that, uh, all of your fresh oil uh, tanks full, then you would just turn your compressor on and put pressure behind it. Uh, we regulate this at 80 PSI. You're not going to really need anything more than that. It kind of just depends on preference. Um, but it does not hurt anything if you keep this open to create pressure. You can have them all on create pressure while you're doing this. Um, it doesn't matter. You can have all your tanks make a pressure at the same time, and it'll be just fine. Um, once you have pressure in these tanks, you, you'd turn it to hold, if, uh, whatever PSI you, you prefer, and then that's what's going to allow you to dispense your fresh oil. That pressure in that tank is what's going to push out that fresh oil uh, out of the end of the reel. You will have your panel sensors, sensors as well. These should read a level percent. I don't believe there's anything in some of these tanks right now, so I don't think they're going to read currently, but This is where you would figure out the percentage of fluid that's in each tank. Now, as far as waste, your waste oil tank, it's pretty much going to live its life in vacuum because you're always going to be sucking up waste oil from this. And it's just going to be opposite. Instead of filling it with vacuum, you're going to be filling this with vacuum as well and offloading it with pressure. Uh, but these are going to stay in pressure most of the time because they're dispensing fluid. This one's going to stay in vacuum most of the time because it's sucking up fluid. And over there in the bulk, bulk fill, that's where it's going to be different. You're going to offload your waste oil there, and you're going to fill your fresh oil tanks from there as well. Um, this one does have pumpless def as well, so it operates the exact same. There's no def pump on this. Um, the only pump you're going to have is for your grease and for your diesel. So in order to run your diesel, it would be this hydraulic right here. So you'd turn on your air compressor. And that'd be what runs your diesel. Hydraulic speed control. And that's what's going to be able to allow you to pump your diesel off. Before you pump your diesel, I would recommend making sure that this ball valve is pulled out. You push it, pull it out. It's an air-operated ball valve back there. You will pull it out to dispense, push it in to stop it. So I'll just go ahead and put pressure in all these fresh oil tanks so we can pump them all off. 